Good morning, you guys. Hi. Okay, so it is Saturday morning. It is a beautiful, bright, but cold day in New York. And I am heading off to yoga right now. I'm going to Y7. Um, but I'm gonna vlog for you guys because I have it in a while. And you guys love the vlogs and I love vlogging. So here we are. I'm going to the subway. <clears throat> I live in Brooklyn. I like to go to Y7. It's one of my favorite yogas in the city just because it's like super hot in there. And I really enjoy hot yoga. So I'm going to hot yoga. Love Y7. They play good music. I'm gonna sweat out whatever situation is happening to me right now. I've just been like sick the past few days. So I'm hoping that getting in that like hot room, I'll be able to sweat out all of the germs and sickness that's inside of me. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be now. Fuck. Okay guys, just finished yoga. Excuse the incredible noise. Now I'm going to go get a smoothie, either at Liquitaria, which is my favorite, or Juice Generation. Honestly, whichever one I walk past first. And then I think I'm gonna hop into Zara and check out their jeans, because I really need some new pairs of jeans. Um, I also made a budget this week, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. And like, according to my budget, I cannot afford these things, but I feel like I need a smoothie right now. So, we're gonna do it. You guys, I just went to go to Liquitaria and it's closed. Oh my God. Damn. Shoot, I didn't know that that location closed. That's so sad. Okay, juice generation we go. because I keep wearing my Air Force Ones with my jeans and like, it's not a cute look. And now I'm heading home, leaving Manhattan, going back to Brooklyn. Gonna do some laundry, gonna get my life together. And yeah, that's the plan. Hi guys, okay, so just got back from yoga and like running around, now I'm home. I have the new sweater that I just got from Zara on. It's literally just a big white crew neck and I just really wanted like a big comfy sweater to wear that was like still cute. Now I'm literally sitting on my bed in a pile of clothes that I have to put away and also I have a thing of laundry in so I'm just kind of like getting all of these little things taken care of and then my night is honestly up in the air. But right now I wanted to take a second and talk to you guys about the water bottle that I have been using lately and that I brought to Y7 today. This water bottle is so, so cool. It's like the coolest concept I've ever heard of. I'm obsessed with it. I bring it to the office with me every single day. Actually, later in this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys like my work essentials and everything that I bring to work with me when I get ready to go to the office on Monday. So you'll be seeing this again, but this is called a Lark water bottle and it's honestly sick. So basically, what this water bottle does is it purifies the water that's in it and it also self cleans itself, which is pretty awesome. So it uses LED lights and UCV lights to cleanse the water inside the bottle and also clean itself. So it's really, really cool and super exciting um, when you actually like purify your water every time you fill it up. Basically, the lid of the bottle gets charged. It comes with a charger and you can just plug it into like any of your like wall buds that you have. And basically what you do is you fill it up with unpurified water or like I just fill it up with whatever water I have and you just hit the button. Can you see that it's lighting up? And it lights up 
and basically you just like shake the water bottle around so that the UV light inside gets like every angle of the water that's in there and it purifies your water for you which is so cool because I don't have a Brita in my house and like sometimes you just never know what's in like the New York City sink water so I really really love having this also it fits perfectly into my work bag which you will see I'm just kind of obsessed with it it's just such a cool concept and yeah super into it so to clean the water bottle it does it automatically which is again awesome and every two hours it basically self activates and for 10 seconds like the UV light shines inside and gets rid of like bacteria and all that kind of stuff so I've been using this water bottle for I think a week straight and I haven't washed it once and it literally smells so fresh so clean so pure and also the great part about it is the water stays super cold inside which I love I also just wanted to take a second to thank Lark for sponsoring this video and for sending me this bo water bottle. I love it so much. It's so amazing. I love the color. It comes in, I think, like five colors. They're all super cute. Just something to think about. Super cool bottle. If you're into this sort of thing, check it out. Also, I didn't tell you guys that I got a brand new phone case from Wildflower Cases. Obsessed with it. It's the Angel phone case. I love it so much. I just think it's so cute and it's making me one step closer to being like almost like Devin Lee Carlson. I'm going to clean my room and then I think I'm gonna meet my friends uptown okay actually before I clean I'm gonna go make myself something to eat because I only had that smoothie and it's 2 30 and I'm really hungry so let's go see what I can like concoct in the kitchen all I have is tuna so that is what we're making tuna all the necessities for tuna mayo celery a little bit of mustard I also remembered I have these cashew flour tortillas so I'm gonna do like a tuna salad wrap situation but here's the tuna salad finished it mm. trying to get siesta key on you know the really important things in life I think it's working let's go let's clean <laughs> start with that um while I wait for my laundry I am going to do my hair and my makeup because I might go meet friends I might not I really don't know but makeup seems like the next thing to do right now so I did do yoga this morning and I didn't wash my hair because I have another workout tomorrow morning so I'm just gonna put it back and do a low bun situation you know my go-to and I think it actually looks really cute when you wear it with hoops and stuff so that's cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it back and I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna like make this more of the center part, but I'm gonna continue to watch Siesta Key. Honestly, I look really good. Heck, I can pull it together. Okay, so my laundry's done. It's all right here. I'm actually not gonna fold it and put it away right now. I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna put it away when I come back because that's just how I feel today. So I'll show you guys my outfit when I'm dressed. Hi guys. Okay, 
So, ugh, little change of plans. So I'm home now. I was with my friends for like 25, 30 minutes all the way uptown, which is honestly like really pain in the ass to get to from my apartment. And I'm home because I like faced a little bit of an issue and I wanna talk to you guys about it because it's part of my day. It's something that I get anxious about literally every single day. Um, <laughs> and I know that people talk about anxiety a lot on YouTube and like it's something that a lot of people struggle with but I've never really talked about my anxiety I have horrible 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 anxiety um, it's kind of swapped out like what I get anxious about throughout my years and like where I've lived and like what I'm up to and like what I'm doing at, at that point in my life like when I was younger I had horrible anxiety about the weather like I would get horrible anxiety about driving in the rain or the snow or my mom driving in the rain or the snow or thunderstorms and then I had a lot of anxiety about friendships and like people being mad at me and all these sort of things when I was in college and now that I live not on my own but I'm in you know a smaller apartment building I only have one roommate opposed to like a 35 foot story apartment building with four room with three roommates and a doorman and stuff um, I kind of feel like I'm, you know, a little bit more responsible for, like, my home and, like, keeping it safe. So I have horrible anxiety about, like, turning off my stove, locking my door, making sure my window is closed, like, my AC, all these sort of things. Um, like, keeping my hair straightener on, like, the anxiety is, like, overtaking sometimes. Like, sometimes I leave my house, will walk down the street and literally turn around and go back to my apartment to make sure that... The door is still locked. It's on my way on the subway to meet my friends at the bar, I just had this like huge feeling of anxiety that I left my window open because I remembered opening it when I got back from yoga because it was like a little stuffy in here. So I opened the window and I remember closing it. I don't remember locking it. And like, it just gave me a, a huge pit in my stomach that I had, you know, left my window unlocked. And we're not on like a super high floor. This isn't a super high building. So it like just gave me anxiety that like someone would have access to my apartment. So I literally was with my friends for like 30 minutes. And I was like, I have to go guys. Like I have to go home and make sure my window is locked. And it took a whole other like 45 minutes to get home. I'm finally back. And of course the window is locked and closed and everything's perfectly fine. It's like overtaking sometimes. Like it overtook me today. Like I had to come home and check that my window was locked. And it seems so stupid to have anxiety about, but like I think about every worst possible scenario that could happen. Like, anyways, now we're moving on. I didn't waste that much of my time. It's 6.30, it's like still pretty early in the day. Now I'm just gonna like stay here, fold my laundry, chill, make dinner. But I just wanted to share with you guys like that that gave me anxiety and that it kind of like put a dent in my evening and like, you know, just affected me because everyone has those things that affect and, you know, make them go crazy sometimes. Okay, that's it. Um, love you guys. Thank God I don't have FOMO because if I did, that'd be really bad. Um, yeah, okay. Good morning, guys. Okay, it is Sunday morning. We are out here, we are living. We are not hungover because we didn't go out last night, which is a great, great feeling. So now today, hi, I literally just woke up. Um, I had my cup of coffee, I had some water. It's like 9.15, yeah, 9.18. I have a workout at 11.15. But again, it's in Manhattan, so I have to leave here at around 10.30 to get there. Um, I'll be 15 minutes early though. Anyways, I'm gonna make some breakfast, I'm gonna get ready to go, and then we will hit Mile High Run Club, which is a really fun workout here in Manhattan. I don't really, I don't live in Manhattan. I'm gonna make peanut butter toast for breakfast because that is all I have. Um, I have my peanut butter toast. And I'm also going to have one of these Good Belly Straight Probiotic Shots because why not? So let's take this, eat my toast, and then I will probably see you guys at Mile High Run Club. Look who came and picked me up from Mile High! 
It's Sezzy! It's Sezzy! It's Mummy! Mummy! <laughs> you guys, so we're obsessed with Eva Chen. Uh -huh. She is like the Instagram, the head of fashion at Instagram, and her daughter named Ren. She's like half English, half American. So she calls her Eva Mummy! Mummy. And, and it's, it's, it's so cute. Yeah. Okay, so we're off. We're gonna go try to find somewhere to eat, somewhere healthy. Somewhere healthy, good. Okay. Like, I'm definitely gonna get me the side of fries or something. I'm a little. Oh, hungry. okay. I'm. Okay, you go for that? Yeah, I'm totally. not. No, that's but, so fine. We okay. Support okay. Whatever we wanna do. Um, and then we're gonna like walk around, go shopping. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's such a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day, Mummy. Mummy. Um, um, it's just like. A gorge day. The sun is shining. Yeah. And I'm here for it. Okay, bye. We are at brunch at Spring Natural, a place in Nolita. I started with this juice right here, the spinach celery apple and a size small. And then I'm gonna get this, this paleo toast. It's poached eggs, salmon, some veggies on sweet potato, which sounds really, really yummy. Sarah, have you decided what you're getting? I would do it again, but I think I'm leaning towards the avocado toast deluxe, but I'm gonna have to get a side of fries. Or with the kale salad. Um, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. I got my healthy and my healthy balance, guys. It's all about balance. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, just finished lunch. So good. Now we're going to Outdoor Voices because honestly, I was inspired by Danielle to get an all red Outdoor Voices set and that's exactly what I'm getting. So that's what we're getting. Here we are, Outdoor Voices. In we go. Hi guys! Okay, so I just got back from my workout. I went to Mile High, as you saw, and then me and Sarah went to Outdoor Voices and lunch, and I ended up getting like the full red set from Outdoor Voices, which I'll show you guys. Um, but I just got back, took a shower, and now I'm gonna do some skincare. And also, I'm just gonna chill. I'm probably gonna like, meal prep some food and get ready for work tomorrow. So here is the set that I got. I mean, first of all, obsessed with the bag it's so nice such really high quality um so here is the set oh god completely inspired by danielle she literally posted a picture for wearing this set and i was like i need that and she posted it a while ago so i'm kind of late but i'm still really excited about it so this is the sports bra i got this one in a size medium this is called the what is this called the tech sweat crop top obsessed like a razor back it is a longer sports bra so i would just wear this as a top and then we have the, the new leggings which i also got in this red color they match perfectly i got these in a size large because because they felt a little bit more comfortable that way and these are the new tech sweat three-fourths leggings they have a really really nice super tight band and they're three-fourths cut which is my favorite so yeah super obsessed Literally can't wait to work out in that, so I'm really excited. I've been wanting an Outdoor Voices set for the longest time, so I'm really happy that I got that and that I bought it. Also, red is my power color, so I'm happy that they had the red, and I just feel so confident in it, and it's just so cute to wear, and I just love it. And workout sets, like matching sets, make me feel on top of the world, so I'm into it. Hey guys, okay, so to finish up this vlog, I just want to show you all what I pack every single day in my work bag. As I said, I've actually never shown this to you guys before, but I bring <clears throat> the same exact things every single day to work, and they're things that I really, really need in a bag that I really, really need. So this is the bag that I've currently been using. I am completely obsessed with it from Angela Roy. First of all, vegan leather. Second of all, power color, red. Third of all, it is so big. Literally, my coworker Elise was like, that's like the Mary Poppins bag. Like, you just fit so much in here, but it looks so small. I'm obsessed with it. It has handles and also a wraparound strap. I've been wearing it throughout this video. Obsessed with it. Um, I will link the exact style and stuff down below because you guys need to go get yourself one. I, I get compliments on it all the time. So let me show you what I bring to work, what I have, and just the necessities. Okay, so right now it's pretty empty because I haven't packed my bag yet, um, but currently all I have in here so far is a tampon. Need that. 
Advil, you, I need Advil, guys. Like, I'm super prone to headaches. And if I get a headache in the office, like, I'm kind of done for, so I always have Advil with me. And then, obviously, a pen, because you just never know when you're gonna need to write something down. I need my badge to get into the office. I also put my AirPods in because I need to listen to music on the subway, so those are going in. Then I put my planner in the bag, which this was really the selling point for me on the bag because it fits my planner, which is insane. Like, it fits perfectly in there. Of course, my wallet and keys when I leave for the office, but I won't be doing that for quite some time, so I'm going to put these over here. So the next thing I bring is always, always chapstick. This one is legit from Trader Joe's. I got it in a pack of three. Um, but if I don't have chapstick at my desk, in my bag, in my pocket, I will lose them and I won't have it and I need them. So always a chapstick in my bag. Of course, I'm going to bring my Lark water bottle because it is an office essential for me. Like I told you guys earlier in the video, I'm obsessed with it. I love it just because I feel like really safe filling up my water anywhere knowing I can purify it. Slash a lot of girls have this in my office and it just makes me feel really cool to also have one. So amazing other thing is that it fits in my bag, I know. This bag just like is the Mary Poppins bag. I could still fit so much more in here. That's pretty much everything I bring to work. I will also every morning throw in an apple, a Granny Smith apple into my bag because I just never know when I'm gonna need a snack and Granny Smith apples are my favorite. And then I have a jar of peanut butter at my desk and peanut butter and apple is my favorite. I just don't have a Granny Smith apple to put in my bag right now, but it fits in there. It's crazy. But that is it for today. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, also follow me on Instagram.